All right, boys and girls, welcome back to Ludix Aviation. We're outside Cessna 172. We're also outside the Piper Cherokee. So as a pilot, in the United States at least, you have to do a thing known as a flight review. Every 24 calendar months, you have to get with a flight instructor. And that flight instructor has to kind of put you through your paces a little bit to make sure that you still know what you're doing. That's hopefully it's not going to be an issue for me today, but you never know with the CFI that I'm going with. Decided to uh, fly the 172 for this one because I'm always flying this thing. I've not done as much practice uh, in this thing, so I thought it'd, uh, it'd be a good idea to go into my favourite of all aircraft, the Skyboat. Look at this. New hoodies available, ludicsaviation.com. Get them. And shirts. I'm going to get this thing pre-flighted. I'm going to wait for the uh, the flight instructor. Uh, wherever. Oh, God. He's here. This is Nick. He's a CFI. And on flight reviews, he takes no prisoners. And everything's shut off. Boom, boom, boom. Oh. Oh. 45, which direction? Back, behind. <laughs> that was that was immense. You've never done one of those before, yeah, have you? Not, no, no, that was good. <laughs> Remain clear of fire propeller. I'm commencing engine start via t-shirt ludicsaviation.com. Thank you. Thank you very down. Is that a fail? <laughs> <Yeah. That's> fail. <laughs> Did you check go. to make sure your documents were current? Here we go. Are your documents good? Yeah, documents are good. Uh, although I did find the registration in front of the airworthiness. In front. So I changed it, you know, being a good pilot that I am. You didn't wash your windshield. <laughs> wash. Yeah, this is going to be a long flight review, boys. Uh, boy. <laughs> this is going to require a second flight, I believe. But <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, other than you don't have your taxiway diagram up in front of you. No, I don't. And I'll tell you why. I, I wing it. Um, and if I put it into a bush, I'll put it into a bush. Yeah. That's an inside joke, right? That's an ins inside oh, joke. Okay. Yeah, inside right. joke, yeah. Me and one of my friends would... <laughs> <laughs> They'll never know! <laughs> Any particular takeoff? You want to do a good one? A good one. All right, cool. I'll get your, you your choice. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna do a softy. Awesome, awesome. Like a uh, engine failure, just prior to V1. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> what is V1 in this plane? <laughs> oh, I'm going up to 1,300 feet below the Bravo, out towards right, northwest. Here, Mike Alpha, runway seven, Alpha seven, line up and wait. Traffic's uh, half your jet on a three and a half mile final. All right, so runway seven, Alpha seven, line up and wait. It's, uh, uh, six seven, Mike Alpha. Zero, Mike Alpha. You can keep it rolling around the corner, left turn, uh, or actually runway heading, runway seven, Alpha seven, clear takeoff. Runway heading, uh, runway seven, Alpha seven, clear takeoff. Six seven, Zero, Mike Alpha. Kilo turn cross All right, we're on a soft field, right? Yes, Got sir. that back pressure in. Back pressure's in. No break. Well, kind of. Alrighty. We're on heading. Good, good, good. Oh, good. Ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Alrighty. Pull, pull the nose down up. Down. As we're, uh, just as we're moving. Just as we're moving. The nose is up. Policy right there, kill Mike. We're in the ground effect when it wants to. We're in ground effect. Hold it, though. How long do you want me to grind? Sierra exec tower on uh, traffic rotate. Box, three miles, right. two miles. You got you got a short field. Uh, you can fly eastbound. <laughs> Scrape me some inside. Traffic is in. All right, man. Welcome to the sky. Two, two, six. You have been COVID tested today, right? Yes. This is one of my pre-flight actions. It's actually on my checklist. And it was negative. No, no, I'm, I'm riddled with it. <laughs> <laughs> I just tested. So I got my new sunglasses in yesterday, just in time. Oh, where from, Nicholas? Flying eyes, and I really like them. They have the, the thinner, the thinner arms. That's it, yeah. That have that that ear seal really good for you. Yep. Yep. Um, Did you get minus a discount? my Ludix discount? Speaking of which, you can use Nick Landman for your discount. Code. <laughs> Go, 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 go. <laughs> Someone's gonna go on and try and put right. Nick, Nick Landman in. <laughs> Ten percent off. Code Ludix. Link in the description. Nick Landman. Put that in the code. I know none of your students ever fail their check rides. Thank you. Nicholas. And I know none of my students ever fail their check Never. rides. Never. But other instructors, when they instruct people on slow flight, um, 
heading and altitude is what they fail at. When I when I teach it, I had a really good DPE that helped me out with some stuff. Yeah. And he told me most people fail because they don't maintain heading and altitude. So when I teach slow flight, I tell them between every change. So you pull the power back, say out loud, heading and altitude, and make sure it's right before you do the next thing. So then you put in your first notch of flaps. Say out loud, heading and altitude, and make sure your heading and your altitude are where they need to be. Scorpion. And the DP is going, they know what they're doing. They, yeah. You know, they're, they're not gonna mess up on heading and altitude. Right, listen, I'm gonna hand over reins of the uh, YouTube <laughs> channel to Nick. <laughs> Nick's taking over. <laughs> this is a hijacking. Right. <laughs> right, that counts as a steep turn. Right, yeah. Lake Apopka traffic, Skyhawk 670 Mike Alpha on the uh, northeast shore of Lake Apopka, 2500 feet. Let me do some slow flight, Lake Apopka. Okay. It's gonna be filthy. Disgusting. <laughs> gonna make it in the video? <laughs> it is. <laughs> oh yeah, he's done. Alright, we've done everything on the pre-maneuver checklist. Excellent. Let's do it. Alright. Engine fire, go, go! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, below 110, one notch. Below 85, two notches. Heading and altitude. Oh, sorry, you want me to, okay. Yes. Heading and altitude. Sorry. Okay. All right. Yeah. Heading and altitude. Yes. Heading and altitude. <laughs> <laughs> what speed do you want? Uh, as slow as you want. All right. Yes. Try to, try to see, test the stall horn, see if the stall horn works, because I right. know you tested that earlier. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Around the Sucked on it. There was something in it as well, I unblocked it, so. Pretty good. 42. So hold that airspeed. Give me a right turn to the south. Right turn. South. Clear. Just uh, dropped, a, dropped a little bit there. Going to add a touch of, uh, touch of juice. Easy, mostly rudder here, Nicholas. Excellent. Uh, it's very, very slow. Maintaining your altitude very well. Thank you, Nicholas. Very well. Slightly impressive. All right, give me climb up to 3,200. 32. Right. Holding that 42 knots. Roger. 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 Heading in altitude. Yep. Let's do 3,100 because it's going to take you forever to get yeah, to 3,200. Yeah, I agree. We don't have time for that. All right. People watching this, what 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 gives you altitude? What controls your altitude to slow flight? Quick. And don't read the other comments. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wait, it's stall warning. All right. Stall warning. Level, <laughs> level it off. Recover. <laughs> Stall warning city. <laughs> One notch. All right, ladies and gentlemen, do you know what we're going to do today? He is going to demonstrate the impossible. Let me, uh... Some might say it's impossible. I'm going to fucking find out. <laughs> <laughs> Graveyard spiral going up. <laughs> My controls! My controls! My controls! <laughs> Under the advice of somebody else, uh, we're going to try doing a uh, simulated instrument. Steep turn to commercial standards. No gyros. I have no idea how we're gonna tell if this was if this is the standards. I can tell you now, this is not even gonna be anywhere close to standards. But fly nice. Thanks for the foggles. Because who knows what's gonna happen. Yeah, exactly. There's gonna be climbs, descents. Here, probably you, a descent. you take you take the plane so you can My controls. Yep, your controls. Right, just to preface this, just as a quick disclaimer, this is not a normal maneuver. <laughs> don't, don't, don't try this, don't without, try this. Without, without two instructors on board. <laughs> yeah. This was a DPE that recommended this as well. <laughs> uh, this is going to be a mess. Should we say a prayer? Yeah, just text my girlfriend. <laughs> Alright, so you're all settled? Your yeah, wings are level? Yep. You understand what a, what a steep turn looks like yeah. right now? Ready? Yeah. Let's do it to the right. To the right. All right. Because it's too easy doing it to the, to the left. Oh, no, yeah. All right, I have no idea. Right no. about there, I think. Right, right there. Yeah. Oh, I guess I'll run it. Hold your altitude, too, okay? All right. A little bit steeper. Right about there. Keep oh, it coordinated. God. Oh, my God. This is this is weird. Make sure you hit your heading. This is weird. <laughs> I think you roll through your heading. We're just going right around and right around. Lost a little bit of altitude. That's good. Good stuff. <laughs> left. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. let's go for it, clear on the left. Let's do it, all right, a little bit of back. Notice that I'm shadowing the controls. Yeah, yeah, shadow the <laughs> f*** out of <laughs> All right, I'm gonna... Right about there looks about right, good right job. There. Yeah, just just hold that. I felt right. What are you looking at right now? <laughs> just, just this. <laughs> oh god, this is a mess. I'll tell you, it's not, it's not, it's not steady, you're constantly like... <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
I don't even know if that's the heading. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. <laughs> Not too right, bad. Do, do, do a normal one. Do a 50 degree turn. Yeah. Under the, I think you can do this pretty easily. I well, probably should have had you do this first. Well, we'll see. Because a good, a good instructor is always learning, right? Yeah, exactly. All right, I'm going, in, I'm going left first. Clear on the left. Thank you. All right, way too much back pressure in there, boy. When was the last time you did one of these? Uh, under the hood. Yeah. Forever. <laughs> Back there, got to go with uh, four miles east That's of that. That's stable right there. Uh, probably so. Four All right. Look up low. A really good job on the altitude. Thanks. <laughs> Let's do it. All right, we're going. And roll it in. Do so some back. Got some rudder. Some rudder. I want you to keep it coming all the way around to a north heading. To a north, alright. Alright, speed's alright. Coordinated 3,000 feet. Bank's fine. We're into north. Starting the rollout. <laughs> Excellent job. I would have used my uh, heading indicator. What do you mean? Well, the bug. I'm the sorry. bug, yeah. Uh, Good job. Thanks, man. Uh, you mind if we do unusual attitude uh, recovery? Yeah, go for it. Alright. Your controls. Yep, my controls. Head. 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 Idiot. Oh, no. It's uh, your controls? Alright, my controls. Alright, we're going down. We're going to bring it back. We're going to wins level it. Level it off. Just level it off. Stabilize. Pretty good job. It's, it's horrible. What do you mean it's horrible? It's horrible. What do you I, mean it's horrible? I like doing I, it. I've got a six sack in the back. I, you no, no, no. I like doing it to people, but like when it's done to me, it's like. Oh, controls. Your controls. People on the ground are going, what is going <laughs> yeah, on yeah, in that no. plane? Yeah. Nick must be flying. Yeah, oh, my oh, oh. All right, okay. Okay. Uh. Your controls? My controls. All right, we're going down again. We're going back. Leveling the wings, relief that load. I didn't want to give you an up because I thought you'd be waiting for the up. Yeah, I was waiting for the up. <laughs> so he confused me a little bit. But get the load off the wings, then bring it up. Airspeed's coming down, just level it off. Excellent, excellent. You can go, I've got the plane, you can take your foggles off or Controls. your foggle. Yeah, the, uh, the, the flying yeah. eyes with a view limit. Do they device. sell those? Yeah. yeah, and you can get a discount on them. Anything else you want to do before we do the big one? Uh, No. No? No, I think we're cool. You feeling okay? Yeah, I'm feeling fine. I do have, um, I seriously, I carry these on. I'll wear them sometimes. If what? I start feeling it a little bit. Oh, those the are the bands? things. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I, I, I don't feel sick. So can I tell your, 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 uh, your viewers real quick? Please do. So I used to get sick when I would do flight training. And I still occasionally feel a little bit nauseous if it's really bumpy and stuff out. These, these are called C-bands. You can get them at like uh, CVS or Walmart or whatever. And they go on your wristbands. You, lots of people probably used these before. And there's some kind of a pressure point right here. And a little dot presses on your on your wrist right here. And if you have a propensity to get seasick or motion sickness and stuff like that, it keeps you from getting sick for the most part. It works on a lot of people that I've had put them on, like I'll carry them. Yeah. They'll be like, I don't feel very good after doing those 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 maneuvers. And I'll yeah. be like, try these, put these on, and they'll put them on. Like five minutes later, they'll be like, I'm not 100%, but I'm a lot better now. Right. And um, so I carry them with me. I buy them in bulk off from Amazon now because nice. a lot of times I'll just be like, here, just, just keep them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. yeah. it's a big question, like air sickness, because a lot of people get it. I just flew with a guy on a Discovery flight the other day and he, he started to feel nauseous. You can get those at nicklamptman.com. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so go ahead and uh, climb it up to uh, 4,000. We want plenty of altitude. I think I, well, hold on, actually, before I do this. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I believe I see a fire and I smell some smoke. Oh no, really? You smell that? Where's it coming from? I don't know. It seems like it's coming from inside. So it's probably an electrical fire, Nicholas. So to be honest with you, I don't really want my electrics on at this moment in time. Okay. So I'll turn the, turn the stuff off, turn all my electrical equipment off, turn my alternator off and turn the battery off as well. See if that helps I'm the issue. I'm starting to see some flames shoot out of the front of the plane here. Oh, shit. All right. Uh, we got an engine fire situation going on here. Oh my God, the temperatures are through the roof. I'm going to idle this. <laughs> 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 I gotta Let me get the fire extinguisher yeah. out right now. Get it out. Let me get it out. Get we it we out. need to be IMC in here. Blast it. I'm bringing the mixture back. Fuel shut off is coming off. I'm turning off the fuel pump. I'm turning everything off. Magnetos are coming off. Blah, blah, blah. We're shutting this thing down. We're landing this thing. I'm increasing my airspeed. I'm trying to blow the thing out. I'll get my some positive loads. My best point is over there. I'm making the turn. 
This will be a short field. F off. <laughs> you turned off your electrics, right? What does that mean, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> does he have any flaps? No flaps. No flaps. Short field. All right. I will turn. Power off. off. Above 100 knots per the POH. Where's the f***ing field? There's the field. I'll do a radio call here, okay? Thank you. Orlando North Traffic, Skyhawk 670 Mike Alpha. We're about two miles to the southwest inbound. Preston, engine out. Uh, Orlando North. It's getting hot in here. Woo! It is. Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> nice news <laughs> there. <laughs> All right. Mayday! Mayday! Coming in hot! Orlando North Traffic, Skyhawk 670 Mike Alpha. About a one mile final for runway 09, Orlando North. Full stop. All right, we're going to land the plane, and because you're an ATP, you're supposed to be able to evacuate the plane quickly. Okay. Anything you want to tell me as a passenger as I'm coming in here, sir? Yeah, listen, so we're going to unlatch these doors. Uh, we're going to have these open so we can get out. We're going to exit the plane behind the plane at 45 degrees, and we're going to go at least 200 feet away from the plane. Can I bring my baggage with me? No, I'll leave it on, kid. But I've got really valuable stuff back here. I don't give a shit. My work computer. Right. What's more valuable to you, your computer or your life, sir? I was trying to get you to Ocala on time. I'll unlatch your door. You should probably unlatch yours, too. I'll unlatch mine. Push. Pull up, pull up. Pull up. Alright, we're coming in hot. This is gonna flow. No flaps. No flaps. <laughs> <laughs> Get down, boy. Get down. Get down. A little bit flat. I'm gonna be light on the brakes. Oh, birds. Birds. Don't have the birds. Let me help out with the uh, engine shutdown. Yes, here. please. And everything's shut off. Boom, boom, boom. Forty-five. Back behind. <laughs> that was immense. You've never done one of those before, yeah, have I've you? No, no. That was good. <laughs> that was good. What's going on? Everything's okay. They're like, you're, you're with Nick. Are you sure? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yeah, um, if, if I could have slowed it down a bit more. Yeah, I could have yeah. slowed it down a bit more, but you didn't tell me well, the fire Well, we were on fire, though. Yeah, you, you didn't tell me the fire was The fire didn't out. go out. Didn't go yeah, out. It was so, still going. Exactly. So that was that was a cool experience. That was cool. Yeah, I've never done that before. That was good. I've, we've talked about it in ATP yeah. training and yeah, stuff, but, yeah, yeah. you know. Exactly. You don't, it's, you know, that's stuff you don't practice. By the way, just to, pre, uh, just to disclaim this, this is a private airstrip, okay? Uh, there's no traffic here. We checked everything beforehand. We're good to go. Yep. So. We made sure we didn't want. Normally, if you're doing like an ATP check ride, you evacuate on the runway because it's a control, it's a controlled tower Correct. kind of thing. Yep. Um, here, there's no tower, so we had kind of agreed ahead of time. Let's get off from the runway just in case somebody were to come in, no comms or something. Exactly. Let's do it when we're off from the runway. So that's why I allowed him to taxi it off from the runway before we exited the aircraft. Perfect. Cool. Is this shorter or soft? Uh, it'll be a short. Okay, excellent. Yeah. Short. Hold in the brakes. Alright, that's full power set. We're Good. not moving. Good. Let's go. See ya. Five. Rotacion. Welcome to the sky. Climb it out at 60. Clear of the obstacle. Roger. Bye -bye. See you later. Awesome. Back to Orlando we go. That was cool. That was fun. Critique, uh, critique me today. Uh, Give me some very, pointers. Very good. You did. I, I thought you did really good. Um, okay, there's not really anything to tell you. Um, that was a great, you know, emergency to land. Your steep turns under the hood <laughs> could have been a little bit. <laughs> yeah. With no gyros, but we had no idea what we were freaking doing on that. The <laughs> <laughs> so flight was good. Roger, you're following a Cherokee uh, uh, an arrow. Yeah, I, uh, I think I'll pass you today. Okay. But it all depends on how the oral goes. On the, yeah, on the because okay. remember, it's two parts. Exactly. Right? Exactly, it's just halfway. Remedial training. Remedial training. Remedial training. That's That's right. Right. November 670, Mike Alpha, Lando, the Zegata Tower, fly southbound, join a six mile straight up for runway 7. Flight bind for six mile final for 7, 670, Mike Alpha. So here's a question for you. Yes. Seven, they tell you to fly 180. Is that a clear? Is that a magnetic heading? Or is that a ground traffic? It's a magnetic heading because that's what you fly in the plane. So if you had a wind coming from the due east to 80 knots, Right? Everybody, if they tell everybody to fly south, everybody's going to be Everyone, going to fly yeah, southwest, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, pre landing has been done, that's up. That's on, those are on. That's on. I want to see a short field landing. Where I want you to get off on Alpha 2. 
Alpha two. Sorry, Alpha 7. <laughs> I gotta say, hold on. <laughs> uh, echo should be completely achievable. Uh, echo, alright, you want an echo, okay. What speed do you tell your guys to come in on on a short field? Uh, that's a, in this. Five. Number zero, Mike, yep. Uh, your number three, runway seven, clear to land. Number three, clear to land, runway seven, zero, Mike, the POH for a 172 R model, though, I forget what the exact speed is. It's 62, which is higher than it should be. It's way higher than it should be. Yeah. So I'll still tell them to try it right around 55, right. No, no faster than 60. We might have to keep the speed up a little bit because we got someone behind us. Uh, that turn is approved on the final surf. They're going to have to slow it down right over here. <laughs> <laughs> make, make it easy. Uh, number four, Sierra Charlie, uh, negative. I'm going to have them go around. Break November 670, Mike Alpha, go around. All right, Zero Mike Alpha. All right. Julian, thank you. Third land, runway 794, Sierra Charlie, thank you. And number uh, Zero Mike Alpha, turn uh, west, just ahead of you, 090. 090, Zero Mike Alpha. Number uh, Zero Mike Alpha, extend your down, and I'll call the base for an IF4 departure. Seven. All right, I'm going to slow it down right, a little we'll bit. Right. Down, runway seven, five, Talk me through it. What are, what, what are we going to do here? It's so. I, I'm just I'm putting in some flaps, just 10 degrees, because he told us to extend, and I don't want to extend to Tampa. Yeah. So I'm just. Because that'll happen here. Yeah, exactly. Because right. we're busy here. Yep. They'll take us all the way out to six miles again, and then bring us back in. So. Yep. So you know, a lot of students will, will will ride at 110, right, in the downwind when they're told to extend. Absolutely. And what's that do for you? Uh, Get you further away, exactly. right? <laughs> <laughs> so this is a good time to do slow flight. Exactly. Should have just done it in the pan. Right. <laughs> <laughs> You want four? Right. <laughs> you want four? <laughs> the problem is, when me and you, when me and you are together, your laugh makes me laugh. And I make, I make you laugh. It's just a constant giggle. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you've been carbon monoxide poisoned. <laughs> okay, let's check it. November zero, Mike Alpha. You can start your base number one, runway seven, Thank third you. line. Clear line. There we go. Yeah, yeah. There, Mike Alpha. Go ahead, I'm turning it down. <laughs> Slow it down. We don't really need too much brakes. Uh, we're off on it. Oh. All right, cool. Excellent job. Thank you, sir. Excellent job. So uh, the Nick and I are just uh, sat down here doing the, the ground portion of the flight review because obviously we've got to do the ground portion just as important, if not more important, than the uh, the flight portion. And uh, Nicholas chose a uh, very interesting subject for us to talk about. This advisory circular here, which is the specification for airport and heliport beacons, talks about intent, lighting intens intensity, yes, yes. placement, stuff like that. So uh, I didn't print the whole thing for you. Just no, part of it. just part of it. But some good reading material for him to cover when he goes home. Absolutely. And I will definitely be reading I this. I also have here uh, standard airport markings. It talks about how uh, how how much glass has to be in the airport mar airport markings to make it reflect the reflectivity on the airport markings. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll we'll see you on the next one. <laughs>